This is the reality of life in a migrant camp in northern France. It's cold, wet, squalid and tense. And as winter approaches, conditions here will just get worse. All these people are here with one aim, to buy a place on a small boat and get to Britain. Sina has fled Iran. He joined protests against the regime, survived a shrapnel wound in the neck and says he'd be killed if he goes back. He can't show his face. I'm telling you that the, the Rwanda policy, yes. the court in Britain has said that it is illegal. What is your reaction to that? It's best news I hear today. It's very good for us. It's not, it's not for human rights. It's not good. At all, that was a stupid uh, thing to do. I think it's, it's never should be done. It's not good for us, for peoples, for humans. It's not a good idea. I'm very, very happy. His is not a lone voice. We spoke to many migrants and got the same answer again and again, that the Rwanda plan would never have dissuaded them. Rwanda, migrants are looking for safety. They're searching for security. People in Rwanda are the ones who need help. Why would you send migrants to a country where the people are already short of support and security? The number of people crossing the channel in small boats has fallen from last year, mainly because a dramatic surge in Albanian migrants has now come to an end. But those who've spent long months getting to northern France, determined to reach Britain, are very hard to deter. And so the debate about the waves of migration remains as impassioned as ever. The Rwanda policy has already used up so much time and effort, money and political capital. But the government remains adamant that it will stop the small boats. Their problem is that there's no real evidence that so far the policy has had any deterrent effect on the number of people leaving these beaches and heading over towards the shores of Britain. The beaches here are beautiful and barren, but when darkness falls, there will be people and boats here, even in the cold and dark of winter, confronted by a very perilous crossing. Adam Parsons, Sky News, Northern France.